So all the developments going on in concrete from decarbonization to new forming systems, new reinforcement, non-metallic reinforcement, 3D printing is probably the most exciting from the perspective of designers, architects, and engineers because it really unleashes concrete from the rectilinear world. When we look at concrete, everything pretty much in modern concrete has been a wall, a floor, a beam, or column. And all those things are formed, fitted into wood frames, i.e. The, the, if you will, the evolution of the brick. Uh, 3D concrete now unleashes us from the confines of your formwork without all the setup time of fabricated custom formwork. The RIC printer we see behind us is different than a lot of the 3D printers we see on the market right now, which are gantry based, where you have to set up basically a miniature tower crane, four tower system, and then you run back and forth on the gantry. This is more like a boom lift, and it's able to access and come into smaller compartments without uh, having to be attached to a gantry system. So uh, this is probably the next, the next generation of 3D printing, which will give us an advantage over the existing uh, uh, gantry based systems. I would, I would also add we're going to have an open house here in the coming weeks, months, uh, inviting all the industry partners from design and engineers to contractors to come on down, take a look, touch and feel the cement. It, it's different. If you haven't seen it before or you've only seen it on, on videos and promos, this will be a chance right here in Seattle to come down and check it out. So what we have here, this is Eisenwall cement base coat, the stucco base coat. And on top here, we ran two coats of drive it freestyle finish, ran a stencil roller over it to give it the wood grain look, and then cut in joints where the boards would meet. So we have an overlap and a lap here. for the Venetian, but once it's all said and done, it will be shiny, glass-like. So you hit it with like a like, urethane finish or something? Nope, nope, this is just the material. You come back over and burnish it in, and burn oh, okay. it, and burn it, and that, that gloss will come out. That um, out. Okay. Yeah, but when we talked about the modeling, it's just multiple layers. Yeah. Uh, so once the other layer comes up, obviously it's just a little thicker here than it is here. So the, and so you get those yeah. accenting yeah. colors there. Uh, this is high-end finish. We see this in, you know, luxury homes. You see it in the foyers of, businesses and stuff when they or if they don't want to have those big marble columns or sometimes you think was a marble column it's Venetian okay. um, also you have a couple other samples over here that you'll kind of see over there as well but so many different opportunities that you can make just with the basic plaster um, we wanted these walls to be extremely flat and pleasing so we use uh, our corner beads and that's why you couldn't tell that it was layered yeah. right it was a little bit interesting um, so we talked, there's gonna be other finishes here, but this is right now while we're here in this phase of it, you can just see a basic stucco, right? So basic stucco brown, same types of systems that we've been using for hundreds of years, uh, were a lot more popular before, um, but now that we have all these panelized finishes, we're seeing them kind of uh, be replaced right now. But here in this, uh, in this arena, now that we're talking about doing it on 3D printed models, this is a, a very good option because this creates a perfect key coat 
Um, and this is a way to coat and make sure we have a very maintenance friendly uh, surface to have on our buildings exterior wise. This is the exterior finish. Getting ready to print. Remember that column? No. Five and a half. Huh? Like five and a half higher, I think. Still got a little ways to go. Okay, so what we got here is our 3D printer printing our first wall. This is the mixer setup. This is our dust-free collection system to keep the uh, bag mix guy dust-free. This is a batch-driven mixing system. With a rotor stator pump. Printer arm. This is a case where we've seen a lot of great ideas in concrete come to market and not go anywhere. And in part, they don't go anywhere because they didn't incorporate the specialty labor necessary to construct with a new material or a new method of construction. Here we have Western Washington cement masons proactively getting on the front of things that are happening, not just a nice idea or a trend, but this is happening now and they're putting their capital right into it to be not a follower or a reactor but a proactive, engaging leader in this area that's rapidly evolving.